Yo, 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 it's David down at Crosstown Chrysler in Edmonton, Alberta. And from the used car superstore is this 2012 Ford Fusion SE in blue flame, powered by the 2.5 liter inline four cylinder engine underneath the hood. This is a four door sedan that is fuel efficient and fun to drive. Come to the front here. It's a good looking front end. You know, it's modern. It's got a clean design. You know, not too much is going on, which is a good thing. This has projector style halogen headlamps lighting up the road in front of you. You have high beams there. Those are the turn signals. And this does have two fog lamps there too. Ford badge, looking very nice. Come to the side here, this Ford Fusion is running on 18 inch rims. And these are Goodyear Eagle mud and snow tires with plenty of tread on them. You'll surely have lots of traction. They're on alloy rims and there's four wheel disc brakes all around. Color matching door handles on the outside on all four doors. And both driver and passenger side door mirrors are color matching and they're heated mirrors as well. So you heat these up, defrost them and see what's beside you in the winter time. Open up the driver's side door here. Here is the door panel. I really like this design, it's really nice. Leather padding right here. This does have a window lock. Driver's side window is automatic. Power windows, power locks, power mirrors. Chrome door handles on the inside on all four doors. Storage down below with a cup holder. Move inside here. Directional air vent, which you can easily adjust. There's a little storage compartment right here. This has automatic headlamps, so you can set it and forget it. Dimmer buttons, that button there will pop open the trunk to turn on the fog lights. It's very easy, just pull this out and that turns on the fog lights. Driver's seat is half power, half manual adjustment. The design you see on the doors continues on to the seats and I really like it. This has cloth seating throughout. Adjustable headrests on the front seats and this has adjustable seatbelt height So depending on how big or tall of course you are you can adjust the seatbelt heights so You're most comfortable inside this Ford Fusion Nice little padding here for arms to rest on open this up. There's a large storage compartment right there There's two big cup holders here with chrome styling around it There's a handbrake and this does have an automatic transmission and you can notice the nice styling touch around that too down here, there is a spot for your cell phone. Manual adjustment, rear view mirror, and this has push button reading lamps there, which is also the interior lighting. And handles for the front seat area that you and your passenger can hold on to in case the ride gets a little bumpy. This is a telescoping steering wheel. You can move it out and in, up and down. Let's go check out the back seat area. All right, here's the back seat door panel. Nice leather padding, power window switch, great style. Nice materials, chrome handle there. Pocket on the back of the driver's seat. There is tons of foot room back here, along with plenty of headroom. Handles in the back seat area too, so your passengers have something to hold on to in case the ride gets a little bumpy. And there's hooks here so you can hang up nice clothing, so if you're going to a nice event, your clothing doesn't get all wrinkled. There's a fold down armrest here with two big cup holders. This has adjustable headrests in the back seats. And this is a 60-40 rear split setup. Tons of space back here. I'm quite happy with the amount of space there is in the back of this Ford Fusion. All right, come to the back here. You'll see the spoiler on the trunk. It looks very nice. Dual exhaust tips out the back with chrome around them. Nice badging Ford Fusion SE represent. And this is the key fob. There's an unlock button, a lock button, and a panic button. Press this button twice. That will pop open the trunk so you can open it. And there's a nice Ford badge on the back or you can press the button on the dashboard to open it up. 
It's very light, not very hard to lift up. The trunk is quite large. I think so. Fit luggage, groceries, tools, anything you want back here. Because there's tons of space. And underneath here, there is a spare tire. And you can fold down the seats just by pulling these handles on the sides. Very, very nice. Easily pull this back down, just like this. And that is now closed properly. Come to the other side here. All right, you have a power window switch here. Again, beautiful styling, leather padding there, chrome door handle. Pock on the back of the passenger seat too. Adults and kids will be happy and comfortable in the back of this Ford Fusion. Front passenger side here. Storage down below with the cup holder. Power window switch looking good. Power locks. Directional air vent right here, which you can easily adjust. Nice styling touch on the dashboard. Lower glove box here with a manual is a very big glove box passenger seat is manual adjustment for safety this has driver and passenger side airbags this has airbags built into the front seats it has side curtain airbags and more lots of safety built into this ford fusion let's hop inside take a closer look right now all right now i'm sitting inside the 2012 ford fusion se and using the key right here, go over to the side and push it into the ignition like this. All you gotta do is turn it. And that starts up the fusion. The tachometer, the speedometer, the fuel gauge and the temperature gauge. They light up nice and bright. Actually, you can adjust the brightness by using the dimmer buttons here so you make it a lot darker. But I like to have it nice and bright. Looks good. And using buttons on the left side of the steering wheel right here, the info button we can go through the driver information center. And the first thing you'll see is that this car only has 84,607 kilometers on it. Not too bad to so come on down the cross town and take this car for a test drive. So I'm gonna press the info button here. You have a trip B calculator. Hold the reset button right here. You can easily reset that. This is still empty on your tank of fuel. Average liters per 100 kilometers. You can reset that by holding the reset button right here. There you go, another economy page. You have a timer. You can start the timer just by pressing the reset button. You have a blank screen and you have a trip A calculator. Hold this and you can easily reset that. Very cool. And you have a setup button here so you can uh, reset for some check. You have your oil life here. You can change your units. Auto lamp, auto lock, auto unlock. Reset for my key settings. Press reset to clear my key language. Cool, tons of cool information in there for you. But I'm just gonna put it back on the main screen and if you open up any door on this car, it'll let you know which door on the car is opened. And right here is the cruise control. Nice four badge in the middle here with of course a horn. It's a very loud horn. Audio controls on the right side here. And this does have voice recognition, which I'll show you real soon. Leather wrapped steering wheel feels absolutely great in your hands. There's an upper storage area here. Lots of space for many different things. Fold down sun visors with convenience mirrors, with convenience lights. And these are sliding visors. Lots of visibility out the front window. In the middle console area here, there is a power outlet and there's a USB port and an auxiliary port connect to your media so you can play music from those areas. Down here, there is another power outlet. You could turn off the traction control, 
just by pressing this button here press it again it comes back on air conditioning recirculate button this has max ac adjust where you want the air to go by the push of a button set the temperature right here adjust the fan speed this does have a rear window defroster power button for the climate control here is the media center it tells you the time when it's off press the power button great sound quality through the speakers definitely rock out have a good time inside this ford fusion Turn it down like this. Voice recognition. Say, please say a command. Cancel. Using voice recognition that will assist you in making calls through Bluetooth. There is a CD player right here. Presets down below. AM, FM radio, and Sirius XM. Aux here. Go line in. What else we got here? There you go, that will connect to your phone if it has been connected before. Go menu, you have your media menu, press OK, you have your play menu. Cool, tuning knob, volume knob. Pressing the media button on the steering wheel, that will allow you to go through all your media, so. Sirius XM, cool, sync, line in, AM, FM, cool. Press the power button and it shuts right off. Directional air vents up here, which you can easily adjust and you can close and open those. You have your hazards right here. This is a very spacious interior with easy to use controls. It looks very good. The automatic transmission is very easy to use. Even the manual shift mode right here with the selection buttons. Definitely come check out this Ford Fusion sometime soon. It's the 2012 Ford Fusion SE in blue flame color, powered by the 2.5 liter inline four cylinder engine underneath the hood. It has cloth seats throughout, Bluetooth connectivity, power windows, locks, and mirrors, keyless entry, a 60 40 rear split back seat, and more. Come on down to Crosstown and see if this is going to be your next everyday car. I'm your man, David. And I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah.